Last month, in conjunction with the 30th Human Rights Council session at the UN Geneva, this side conference panel had been brought together to discuss the question, where is the political will to stop the wars in Syria and Iraq? Archbishop Silvano Tomasi, Apostolic Nuncio of the Holy See to the UN in Geneva, called the war in Iraq and Syria boldly a proxy war for Sunni versus Shia and the United States versus the Russian Federation. The complexity of interest challenges any attempt to dialogue and arrive at a ceasefire and putting an end to the violence. The emotional outflow provoked by the massive wave of refugees and asylum seekers reported in detail in the media distracts and diverts public opinion from looking at the root causes. The chairman of the Independent International Commission on Inquiry for Syria observed the unwillingness by states to end the conflict. Their actions display a greater willingness to plan for war than to plan for peace. With money, fighters and weapons, they have funded the flames and empowered the perpetrators. By doing that, they are aiding and abetting war crimes against the Syrian population. War crimes, gross human rights violations and crimes against humanity. And it is up to ordinary people, civil society, religious communities, churches, to exert pressure on their governments to ensure that their governments abide by those regulations, abide by those laws, and stop selling weaponry that is going to land up in Syria and Iraq. That would have a hugely positive impact on a climate for peace rather than a climate for conflict. What we need to be doing is to be mobilizing people at, at all our national levels to be confronting our own governments about their participation in this uh, in this arms race, in, the, in this, these illusions about the security of getting more arms that everyone is, is living with, and to be also pushing for, for every, each one of our countries to overcome our own national interests, which are very narrow. So we can do a lot if we mobilize people on the ground to do that. According to the Archbishop of Kirkuk, Iraq, states are not the only ones that are guilty and that the globalization process brings about, as he called it, an empire of termites. It is like an empire of termites crawling through the holes of society. These are the invading and dominating international corporations who act independent from states. People are pulling strings behind the curtain. To understand all this is the first step to remedy this. I think that we are failing to grasp the gravity of the problem we are currently facing in the world. The panelists concluded that weapons do not aid peace, but only worsen the severity of fighting. And they concurred with a Henry Ford quote, show me who makes a profit from war and I'll show you how to stop a war.